A Metro Detroit center is providing a judgment free zone for those with autism and special needs, part learning and part play. They are teaming up with local organizations to help teach life skills. CW50's April Morton takes a look at the impact that the center has on their community. It may appear that I'm in a magical place where kids can come and have a great time. Well, this place is magical. A place where those with autism and special needs can come and be themselves and not be judged. Today, 20-year-old Jillian doing something she loves. It's going really great. Work, that is. But for Jillian, this is not just a job. It gives her a sense of independence, something most of us take for granted. Makes me feel independent and trustworthy. And that's something she doesn't take lightly. Jillian, along with a few others helping out here at the Autism and Special Needs Play Place in Sterling Heights, is part of a postgraduate program through the Macomb Intermediate Schools. We were helping paint, we were helping redecorate, move things. Um, Shell and the crew here have just been wonderful. We've answered phones for them. This is just one of many partnerships the center has with the community. Besides teaching participants quality of life skills, the center offers a lot of fun. Swings, uh, snacks at our bistro, we have a reading loft, we have a Lego castle um, where you can uh, build on the wall, we have a bouncer, we have video games, we have a computer cafe. And everything here is designed specifically for the special participants from children to adults of all ages. This whole center is for those who uh, are not judged. There's even a bistro for conversation and culinary skills and a barber shop that makes getting what could be a challenging haircut easy going, allowing the customer to go at their own pace. Shell has a personal reason for being so passionate about the center. She opened six years ago. Son being diagnosed with autism at two and a half. He's now 19. She says parents appreciate that she can relate to their challenges. If you don't have to say I'm sorry, it's we understand and we get it. As for Jillian, she says being in this work program gives her high hopes as a future chocolatier. And I'll be a strong independent worker. In Sterling Heights, April Morton, CW50 News at 10.